Wow, tracks just keep going. Yeah, they sure do, don't they? If we uh, take the tracks all the way to Maine, it could take days. Could take weeks. I mean, that's even assuming that these tracks go to Maine. They could take only a few hours if we take my car. We could stop and get something to eat. Get some coffee. Hit the beach. Yeah. If we run into Ace and his gang. No drag racing. Bado bum bum. Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. I'm Drew. And today's a very special road trip day. I've been waiting 26 years to do this trip. Yes. We are on our way to Stephen King's house. Stephen King. And this is the exciting, action-packed, Fuel up the car sequence. Ooh. 369 like gallon. Yeah. Ten years that'll be like double that. Ten years it'll be like two dollars a gallon because electric cars will be popular. <laughs> 265 miles distance to go. We are on our way. We're on a highway to heck. We're on a highway to heck. She's got the this is our newest camera. This camera have a side mount, widescreen digital. We're gonna be turning in 8.6 miles. It's 262 miles to Bangor. We got a full tank of gas. It should take about 26 minutes. 259 miles to go. Hopefully this will be interesting. I got about half a cup of drink from Dunkin' Donuts. He woke up way too early. Yeah. Go Andy! Go Andy! Go Andy! Go Andy! Go. Break on the highway. No, we don't. We didn't calculate any rest stops. Well, the hell with that. We. You are. better hold it for four hours. Oh yeah, right. Ah. This is what road trips are all about. ACDC and the AC. You almost died. You have a compound fracture of the tibia in both legs and the fibula in the right leg is fractured too. And as soon as the roads open, I'll take you to a hospital. In the meantime, you've got a lot of recovering to do. There is nothing to worry about. You're gonna be just fine. I'm your number one fan. My name is Annie Wilkes. I think one of my clients, Paul Sheldon, might be in some kind of trouble. You mean Paul Sheldon the writer? Well, everybody sure likes those misery books. They had it at the store, Paul. They said he checked out last Tuesday. Isn't that a little strange? I guess it was kind of a miracle you finding me. In a way, I was following you. You were following me? Oh, Paul, I've read everything of yours, but the misery novels. You must be a good man, or you could never have created such a wondrous, loving creature as Misery Chastain. Very kind. The presumption must now be that Paul Sheldon is dead. You. Dirty bird. How could you? Misery Chastain cannot be dead. Misery Spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! I want her! And you murdered her! You don't think he's dead, do you? And don't even think about anybody coming for you, because I never called them. Nobody knows you're here. And you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. I 
know you've been out. Is this what you're looking for? Eventually, you'll come to accept the idea of being here. Annie, whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. Annie, for God's sake. Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake. It's for the best. God, I love you. This is the scariest part of our road trip. Traffic. Yeah. I swear, it's like a, it's like the sequel to Maximum Overdrive here with these trucks. Yeah. How, how do these people get licenses? Drive. All right, we get 12 miles to 495 North. All right. 12 miles to 495 North. Wait until we hit Maine. Then it's gonna be nothing but cows and trees. Let me ask you something, Drew. Go ahead. When you think of Stephen King, what do you think? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Instantly, Stephen King. Boom. Horror. I don't know what, like which story, movie, oh, book? Oh gosh, Christine, probably is my favorite. Uh, the reason why it's my favorite is, you know, it's a car movie. I like cars. And it, it it's about coming of age and dealing with bullies. And, and it's a very good story. It's really well written. But at the same time, it was like one of those stories that if you let yourself be consumed by your anger and hatred towards people, it's going to destroy you in the end. At least that's what I took away from it. I always thought it was a very good story. When I think of Stephen King, I immediately think of the book Night Shift. I'm a huge fan of that collection. I have to give credit to my English teacher when I was in high school. Probably one of the best things about that school. We had a small class. None of the kids were interested in any reading things that we were getting. A couple of us, Jeffrey, me, and uh, one other girl, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, we all read Stephen King because we were kind of like the misfit group who came to the class. And our English teacher, she, since there's only like, like 10 of us in the class, she said, well, how would you like to do your work on Stephen King? We had to get permission slips signed by the parents that it was okay. We had to go out and buy our own copies of Night Shift because the school wouldn't pay for that. But the teacher did all the curriculum on the short stories of Night Shift, The Manual of Flowers, Children of the Corn, all these short stories that were in that collection. And I just thought it was the coolest thing to ever come out of that school. And I'll never forget it, and uh, that teacher knew how to work her students' interests. You know, that's the thing about Stephen King. There's so much about him. Well, his work has a lot of common threads of throughout them. So many of the stories take place about an artist or author in Maine. And um, yeah, he's not afraid to weave his stories together. He has a collection of four short novellas yeah. called Different Seasons. And I believe three of the four stories, so there's four seasons and there's four stories, three of the four of them had become successful movies. Rita Hayward and The Shawshank Redemption obviously became The Shawshank Redemption. The Body became Stand By Me. Mm -hmm. And um, Apt Pupil became Apt Pupil. Now my personal favorite Stephen King movies are the ones that they made as miniseries from ABC in the 1980s. Mick Garris directed a lot of them. He was the one who, who did the Stand miniseries. Mm -hmm. I think that probably one of the best ones was uh, It. Yes. Yeah, so Tim think... Curry as Pennywise, the clown. Hi. Fifty-five miles, ninety-five north. Fifty-five. He made lots of great movies. There's Cujo. Dead Zone. Uh, Graveyard Shift. Carrie. Christine. Pet Cemetery. Oh, jeez. That, that movie scared the hell out of me. Well, he also did Firestarter with Drew Barrymore. Oh, my God. Cat's Eye. Shut up, woman. Sleepwalkers. Sleepwalkers. That was a, that was directed by Mick Garris. It was the first time I believe he and Stephen King um, collaborated. The Running Man. Oh, The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, Richard Dawson. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Running Man is actually probably one of the most... It's one of the Richard Bachman books. For a period, he actually published a lot of his work under the name Richard Bachman because he felt that people were taking advantage of his name. You no, know, he wanted to see if it was his name selling the books or not. He actually, he sold better under Richard Bachman. Which is ironic. Well, not really, because he realized his name was kind of holding him back. People instantly saw horror when they saw his name. The Running Man, if you watch the movie, it kind of parallels what TV's like today. It's definitely a little, um, a little, American a little window into the uh, future there.